The tallest roller coaster in the world currently has held that claim since 2005, which seems like forever ago. If you're a fan of extreme coasters that focuses on height, then here are the top 10 tallest coasters in the world as of 2021. And if you're curious or not as to will we ever see a new roller coaster take the top spot on this list, find out next. Welcome to Theme Park Predictions. My name is Brandon, and starting off the list, we head to Kings Island, located just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, for the 10th tallest coaster in the world, and that would be Orion. With a height of 287 feet, a length of 5,321 feet, speeds of 91 miles an hour, and is manufactured by BM. This glorified hypercoaster features a great paint scheme. Okay, Orion is technically a giga coaster. 13 feet, Kings Island, 13 feet. Orion is the newest member of this top 10 and will most likely be the first coaster to get knocked off this list since it's only 287 feet tall. But don't let this coaster fool you because Orion features one of the best first drops in the entire world in which riders take on an insane 85 degree drop. Throughout the three minute ride, you're faced with large hills, giant drops, and a low to the ground speed hill. Number nine, Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion. Has a height of 305 feet, length 5,100 feet, speed 90 miles an hour, and is manufactured by Intamin. King's Dominion's iconic Giga Coaster has been thrilling riders ever since 2010, and this coaster will intimidate the crap out of you. Intimidator 305 was the second full circuit Giga Coaster to ever be built here in America. From the bottom of the first drop until the 32 passenger train reaches the final brake run, Intimidator 305 features one of the most insane coaster layouts ever created. If you have a bucket list of coasters, then Intimidator 305 needs to be near the top of that list. Number 8. Leviathan, Canada's Wonderland. Height 306 feet, length 5,486 feet, speed 92 miles an hour, manufactured by BM. Canadians got a real treat when the largest park in Canada opened the country's tallest and fastest roller coaster, Leviathan. And personally, I think this coaster has one of the best names of any on this list. Leviathan is a great giga coaster that features a great layout full of airtime hills, turns, and a beautiful turnaround element over the park's entrance. There's a reason why Leviathan is the most popular coaster in all of Canada. Number 7. Millennium Force, Cedar Point. Height, 310 feet. Length, 6,595 feet. Speed, 93 miles an hour, and is manufactured by Intamin. The year 2000 was a crazy year for roller coasters. Not only did Six Flags open up 20 plus new coasters that year, but Cedar Point did the unthinkable when that was building a full circuit roller coaster that is over the 300 foot tall mark. What's even more remarkable is the fact that Cedar Point was able to squeeze this massive new coaster into the area of the park that they built it. Millennia Force is an adrenaline work of art that has been nominated as the best coaster in the world for decades now. Going up that cable lift and looking out to the left and seeing Lake Erie get lower and lower and then looking to your right and seeing all the other coasters at Cedar Point diminishing in size is something every coaster fan needs to experience soon. Number 6. Steel Dragon 2000, located at Nagashima Spa Land. Height 318 feet, length 8,133 feet, speed 95 miles an hour, and is manufactured by Morgan. Opening just a few months after Millennium Force, this massive piece of steel is not only the sixth tallest roller coaster in the world, it's also the longest one in the world. A record that hasn't been beaten for over 21 years now. Steel Dragon 2000 features massive hills, a very unique turnaround element, bunny hills, and airtime galore as the train makes its way back to the station. While Steel Dragon 2000 is far from the best coaster on this list, it's still a fun bucket list ride thanks to those B&M trains. Number 5. Fury 325, located in my backyard because I'm located only about 10 minutes away from Carowinds. Height, 325 feet, length, 6,602 feet, speed 95 miles an hour, manufactured by B&M. In 2015, the Carolinas were blessed with the longest steel coaster in America and the tallest roller coaster in the world that features a lift hill. 
Fury 325 really does live up to the hype and dominates the Carowind skyline. As for the coaster itself, you will encounter the best first drop on a Giga coaster, back to back, quick low to the ground turns, and then you'll experience one of the best turnaround elements ever created that leads up to the Hive Dive Tunnel underneath the entry bridge. Fury 325 is filled with airtime hills, turns, a massive helix, and one of the best roller coaster crews you'll ever come across because the Fury crew hauls on their dispatches. Number 4. Red Force, located at Ferrari Land at Port Aventura Resort. Height 367 feet, length 2887 feet, speed 111 miles an hour, and is manufactured by Intamin. You're looking at the tallest and fastest roller coaster in all of Europe. Red Force is the first coaster on this top 10 that ditches the whole lift hill thing and utilizes a launch for the train to achieve the ride's max speed. Red Force's 12 passenger trains take riders from 0 to 111 miles an hour in under 5 seconds. And from the top of Red Force, you'll be able to see all the park below you and the Balearic Sea out in the distance. Number 3. Superman Escape from Krypton, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Height 415 feet, and let's talk about that here in a minute. Length 1,235 feet, speed 100 miles an hour, again let's talk about that here in a minute, and is manufactured by Intamin. Opening in 1997, this reverse freefall coaster was beyond our time, it seems. The trains launch 0 to 100 miles an hour, and back in 1997, that was pretty much the unthinkable. But now, let's address the elephant in the room here. When Superman first opened, the trains would reach the max speed of 100 miles an hour and travel pretty close to the top of the ride's tower. Fast forward to 2021, and it's clear that there's at least 75 feet of track or more that the train doesn't even reach. So in my opinion, Six Flags should give Superman some honest stats going forward. That's just my hot take. Number 2. Top Thrill Dragster, Cedar Point. Height, 420 feet. Length, 2,800 feet. Speed, 120 miles an hour. Manufactured by Intamin. Three years after Millennium Force opened, Cedar Point built a roller coaster that is 110 feet taller and 27 miles an hour faster. If you ever need a dose of adrenaline, then Top Throw Dragster is your cure. Because this Intamin Accelerator Coaster features a T-Bar restraint that really adds to the whole intimidating factor, since there is nothing going over your shoulders to restrain you. Plus, the open air trains really make this coaster even more special. There is no better view on any coaster in the world than when you're going over Top Door Dragster's top hat. And finally, the tallest roller coaster in the world, and that would be King De Ka, located at Six Flags Great Adventure. Features a height of 456 feet, length 3,118 feet, speed 128 miles an hour, and is manufactured by Intamin. Just two short years after Cedar Point built Top Door Dragster, Six Flags Great Adventure opened King De Ka, which to this day is still the tallest roller coaster in the world at a height of 456 feet. While I personally prefer Cedar Point's Top Toe Dragster over King De Ka, this is still a great ride. Is there something about getting launched at 128 miles an hour in just under 4 seconds that I love? So how tall is King De Ka? Well, going over the tallest part of the ride, during night rides, you can see the lights from Atlantic City, Philadelphia, and New York City. Now talk about crazy. We have seen roller coasters break the 200 foot, 300 foot, and 400 foot barrier. But will we ever see one break 500 feet? There is one coaster out there that, if built, will become the tallest, fastest, and longest coaster in the world. Introducing Dawkins Flight, located at Six Flags Cadea, featuring a height of 525 feet, length of over 2.5 miles, speed 155 miles an hour, and is manufactured by Intamin. There's a lot of dominoes that still need to fall for this coaster to be built and open with the park in 2023. And honestly, at the time of this video, I'm 50-50 on if it would even happen or not. Since every other time, Six Flags was rumored to open a new park in Asia, it never actually happened. So will Falcon's flight actually get built? And would you ever ride a 500 foot tall coaster? Let me know in the comments. And if you love theme parks and roller coasters, be sure to give this video a like and become the newest theme park prediction subscriber. If Falcon's Flight doesn't get built, then what parks out there right now could potentially build a 500 foot tall coaster or build the world's tallest coaster, breaking King Ka's record? Energylandia, Cedar Point, 
some park in China? What do you think? You know what to do, let me know in the comments. I do, however, predict that Kinda Ka will no longer be the tallest roller coaster in the world come 2030. Well, that wraps up the top 10 tallest roller coasters in the world as of 2021. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay positive, be happy, and keep riding coasters.